This will be an example video covering the topic Finding the Final Amount in a Word Problem on Continuous Compound Interest. Let's take a look at the problem we're going to be working through. An initial amount of $2,300 is invested in an account at an interest rate of 9% per year compounded continuously. Find the amount in the account after 7 years. Round to the nearest cent. To solve this sort of equation, we must use the formula for exponential growth. Exponential growth is modeled as a equals p times e to the power of r times t. Now, let's find the values we're going to want to plug into our equation. Recall that a is the final amount, or in other words, the amount that we're going to try and find. p is the initial amount, and in our equation, the initial amount invested was $2,300. E is a constant and is approximately 2.718. R is the rate of growth, and in our problem, the rate of growth is 9% per year. For exponential growth, we must write 9% as a decimal. And in order to convert 9% into a decimal, we simply divide 9 by 100. Last but not least, T is time in years. In our problem, we are investing our money in our account for 7 years. Remember, our goal is to find the final amount, A, and to do this, we plug in our values into the equation. Plugging in our values into the equation, we have A equals our initial amount, 2300, times E to the power of our rate, 0 0.09, times time, 7 years. We can simplify our exponent by multiplying 0 0.09 times 7. 0 0.09 times 7 is 0 0.63. The result is A equals 2300 times E to the power of 0 0.63. Now it would be a good idea to use your calculator to find your answer. To find A we multiply 2300 times E to the power of 0 0.63. Most likely your calculator has a button for E. Make sure you use that in order to obtain an exact answer. You could also solve this problem by using algebraic properties and solve it by hand. Either way, your answer should come out to about 4,318.504332 and so on. Since we're dealing with dollars and cents, we're going to want to round to the nearest cent, or in other words, the second decimal place. After rounding, we have found that after depositing $2,300 in an account for 7 years, with a growth rate of 9% per year compounded continuously, we have a final value of $4,318.50.